Kevin Ballin foretells the journey that many young architects make from international influences through to regional responses. As architects we always take the influences that we see from around us and then respond in our context. I think that's what his influence is on my work, the way that, that you use international influences and then give them an Australian context. Kevin Borland's love of structural and formal innovation in architecture developed early in his career. In 1952, partnering with friends from university, he won the national competition for the Olympic Swimming and Diving Stadium being built for the 1956 Melbourne Olympic Games. Simultaneous to this, Borland designed and constructed the structurally innovative Rice House as a series of linked thin shell concrete parabolic arches. In 1955, Borland commenced his lengthy architectural career at the Melbourne Technical College. He was a popular design teacher in all three Victorian architecture schools over the next three decades. Together with his former student and friend, Darrell Jackson, Borlan completed the design and construction of the distinguished and brutalist Harold Holt Memorial Swimming Centre in 1968. I think there are a lot of designers, a lot of architects that are interested in brutalism, but it's still very much misunderstood by the public. Partly it's because of the name, I think. It sounds intimidating, but in fact, you know, what brutalism is about and what Kevin Borland was not over refining things, not overworking things, you know, not over finessing things, but actually letting the natural materials like speak for themselves. Tonight, the Concrete Masonry Association of Australia pays tribute to Kevin Borland and his contribution to elevating masonry in architectural design.